Okay, so I did a review recently uh, on this M.2 NVMe adapter and uh, I had a Pioneer NVMe drive in there and it was blisteringly fast and uh, I've got the results on a separate video but uh, I managed to, well I was plugging in power uh, into here and I managed to, I think, blow it um, so, and I was given this so I'm not too worried about it um, but uh, the NVMe drive is still fine and my son's got it in his computer he's put his OS on it and he says it's running really fast so I'm happy with that uh, I've bought for myself a slower drive, uh, an M.2 Kingston drive, uh, so not NVMe, uh, and I've bought this USB adapter, and you can see it literally just slots in. So if I pull this, it comes out, uh, and then you can slot it in. And I figured for this I could use it for game capture on my Xbox as a super fast USB stick, uh, but I can also run an OS from it. And so I thought I'd boot up the Pi and do a speed test and see how we get on. Okay, so this is the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS, uh, and I'm going to do a speed test on it. Uh, I did have some trouble installing it on the M.2 drive, uh, which I didn't have trouble with the previous NVMe drive for installation. But basically, I installed it with Raspberry Pi Imager, I think I tried Belena Etcher, um, and both of them, they would boot up but then they would get to a certain point uh, where uh, it would just be a black screen. So they would try to do the file resizing and then it would come up with a black screen. So for some reason, a uh, like a raw image of the operating system didn't, didn't work with the 32-bit system. And then what I thought I'd do is use the SD card copier uh, and I had uh, this version of a system. So I went into SD card copier and uh, I did copy from device and I put an SD card in with uh, Raspberry Pi OS on it and then I put a copy to, to device and I selected my M.2 drive and just hit start and that, that cloned the operating system over to the M.2 drive and now it works absolutely fine. So I don't know if that will happen the same with different operating systems, obviously time will tell as I keep playing around with things uh, if that's going to be an issue, um, but it's working absolutely fine now I've cloned an operating system rather than doing a start from scratch which I haven't had to do before on anything else uh, from memory. You can see because I'm using my cluster case, it's super cool. Um, I've got the ice tower cooler and the cluster case, which is in another video. Right, so anyway, get on with the speed test. So Raspberry Pi Diagnostics, hit run tests, and let's see what happens. I guess if, oh crikey, that was quick. So show log. So I've been through some of my YouTube videos and I've had a look at uh, the fastest of various things that I had. And I don't know if this is everything the fastest that I've had, but I think it's pretty much. So the fastest SD card I think I've ever had uh, was this SanDisk Extreme Pro 64 gig A2. And I'll put links in the description to all of these. So sequential write speed 38,035. So I had 122,040. So the M.2 obliterated that. Uh, the random write speed 969 random write speed 18,103, so obliterated that as well, and uh, random read speed 2,548, uh, random read speed on the M.2 is 13,861, so clearly an SD card isn't that fast. To be fair, that Extreme Pro with a lightweight operating system on it is absolutely fine, and, uh, and I often use SD cards, uh, I do for RetroPie and things like that. So, USB stick, the fastest I've been sent was this uh, from Paul Barnett. It's a Corsair Flash Voyager GTX 128, and these are about 70, 80 quid. They're a lot of money for a USB stick. Uh, sequential write speed is very fast, 174,297, faster than my M.2 drive. But the more important bit would be the random write speed, so 12,770 versus 18,103. So quite a bit faster on the M.2, and then random read speed, 13,191. Uh, random read speed, 13,861, so very similar on that, but still faster to the M.2. Uh, so I was pleased that it beat that. Uh, the SSD drive, one of the fastest I've got is uh, the Yukon 60 gig drive, and used with my CSL USB to SATA adapter. This is a UASP, so it supports the faster protocol on USB SATA cables. My M.2 drive also is UASP, and I'll show that in a minute. Uh, so sequential write speed, well, let's get these next to each other so I can zoom into it when I edit it. Uh, so 225986, 
versus 122040, so sequential write speed much faster on the SSD, but less important for an operating system. Uh, random write speed, 16,633, so beaten not by a lot, but beaten by the M.2 drive. And random read speed, 10,045 and uh, on the M.2 13,861 so so far we have uh, the M.2 drive is the fastest but then we get to the NVMe M.2 Pioneer drive now this was super fast the sequential write speed is the fastest I've ever seen on my Pi 324,435 versus 122,040 so much much better uh, but the random write speed is better but not not loads better uh, so 20,978 versus 18,103 uh, random read speed 15,588 versus 13,861 so uh, m.2 is still nice and fast on a pi uh, nvme is the fastest but marginally faster although the sequential write speed of that match to you it is a lot better but you do pay quite a lot more for an nvme drive and also an nvme adapter and this was the reason that Despi Pro decided to put an M.2 drive in their case, uh, which hopefully they're going to send me one, and uh, I can put this M.2 drive in it and give that a good test. So let's have a look at uh, the drive, and I got this from Jeff Geerling's video, uh, LSUSB-T, and we're looking in this, and I did a separate video about this UASP. So this is a mass storage device, and it's UAS, so it is the faster protocol, which kind of goes with the speed test. But anyway, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.